junior at Edmond Santa Fe High School. My name is Joshua Ivey. I go to Jinx High School. I'm Ben Russell. I'm from the Francis Tuttle Robot X team. I am on the mechanical and build teams. I'm second driver. Well, I'm team captain, so I kind of have to manage a little bit of everything. We are the fast and serious. If I was stranded on a desert island and I could only take three things to build a robot with, I would take a computer and a laptop and then make sure I could have internet connections so I could just order all the parts I needed. Duct tape, 80-20, and all the connectors for 80-20. I'd bring woody flowers, a metal ship with the parts, and Jesus. A block of wood, glue, and a knife. A question I often get is, so do you get like robots walking around and fighting each other? This isn't a competition to destroy the other team's robot. This is a competition to learn. This is a competition to grow as a person. Problem solving. There we go, that's the word. When I hear robotics, I think of like the giant transformers that punch things. It's just a bunch of people making stuff to do, like throw a ball or climb a ladder like last year or throw a frisbee. I thought that it would be a little bitty robot. I never thought that it would be a five foot tall monster of metal. The design for a robot is always different every year and provides us with new challenges that we, we can overcome. A lot of people think it's a really like nerdy thing, but it's really not. I mean, there are a lot of cool people who join robotics. There was stuff I didn't know existed and uh, get in there and it scared me the first couple times, but I was able to do it. And the friendships that you make are uh, long lasting. Right now we've been having problems with our camera getting it to work. We've had a lot of programming and just little mechanical pickups. We've had a few issues with leaking in our pneumatics, but that's a simple fix. We had some trouble at competition with connection issues. For four matches, we didn't actually do anything. We fixed that and we were able to play on the field and we still made it all the way up into the top eight. The best way to score points is in the first 10 seconds to try to get as many autonomous points as possible and then afterwards try to get one assist or at least a trust shot to a human player. Autonomous is where the robot works on pre-made code to where the human doesn't have to even touch the controls and the robot can shoot and move forward and turn and anything that it needs to do without human interaction. It gave me the opportunity to learn there's more careers out there, and chemical engineering has become my goal in life. It's definitely moved me towards more of a science career, just because I have so much fun solving problems all day. Um, first has definitely opened my mind to an engineering career, what I didn't consider before because I'm not a huge science or math person, but I realized that science and math is such an important aspect to our future. I guess my least favorite thing about humanity is our ability to make mistakes. And I feel like robots make less. Though, then again, we're the ones who make them. So, like, once the singularity happens, everything will be great. Hmm. That's probably a really weird answer. Well, so far, I I've just been blown away by all the robots and, and all the people, too. Seeing how other people solve the problem that we were given, and seeing how many different designs that other people came up with. It all came together to produce something really, really great. So we were down by 15 points with about 30 seconds to go. And the high shooting robot on our team was broken. So as we were going for the two, two assists, the other team scored a high goal, putting us down by 25 points with 15 seconds left. So with about five seconds in, we finally got the three assists and the low goal point. It felt amazing. Like the adrenaline rush was crazy. Our fans were going wild. Teammates were just going bonkers. Assist is a super easy and quick way to earn additional points. The beginning matches where um, our driving was so a little shaky. And it was those assists that were able to win the game for us. A 
a lot of my friends were in the robotics team my freshman year and they talked about how much fun they had. I was like, hey, if they're having so much fun making a robot and getting to compete with it, why can't I go have some fun? And they told me, oh, you should join robotics, it's really fun. So that's kind of what got me into it. If you show a freshman a robot, they're going to want to come and see what you're doing and they're going to want to participate. And if you give them something to do, they're hooked. I definitely would recommend it. It's a really great program. And just starting one at your school even is really great. It's really it's enjoyable if you like to build stuff and work with your hands and it's really fun. First is for inspiration. For inspiration and recognition. And recognition of science and technology. Science and technology.